Hello Libra, this is Julie with Into Heart Space looking at November for you. Have you looked at the collective pull yet? Have you looked at the energy surrounding you and everyone else? Uh, if not, you know, pause this and go check that out. It'll help you with a foundation for November. I do believe the card that was pulled for the collective was looking forward. All right, so let's call on the highest of life the highest of energy to guide us on this reading calling in the divine what messages for Libra for November of 2017 Libra Sun Libra rising Libra moon let's see okay All right, and the energy coming in from October is the King of Swords reversed. So Libra, I do believe, who was it? Who got this? Virgo. Virgo got the King of Swords reversed, too. So Libra, the two situations here from October, you could be acting in this way, or, you know, this, sign, this person could be coming in. Because the Swords is your sign, Libra. Um, it's air. Uh, so it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy that came in in October, but in the negative. So they're kind of here to like, you know, they're like your arch enemy in a way. They, they want to bring you down and they don't care what they have to do to, to make it happen. They don't care who, who they hurt or how they get to their final destination. And so I was, I was telling Virgo actually the same thing is that with the King of, King of Swords, I find them the most frightening of all, all the Kings in reverse because they don't care. So they will slaughter, they will hurt, they will cause pain if they get what they want. So be careful of that sign um, that's coming in from October. Also, if you have that, that feeling of, I will do whatever I need to to get to where I need to, reevaluate and check yourself. <laughs> okay, we have the Ten of Staffs, the World, Five of Pentacles Reversed, King of Staffs, Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Cups reversed, the Emperor, the Lovers, oh, hey, look at that, the Tower, and Eight of Cups, okay, so there's a lot of, oh, man, okay, I'm going to start up here with the King of Stabs and work down, the King of Stabs is a fire sign, so Aries, Sag, Leo, energy, and they're in the upright, so they're here to help you out. And I actually, since they're linked to this, this lovers here, I feel like some of you guys may be starting out a, a romantic relationship with a fire sign. Um, and, and this is a strong relationship, and it has a lot of, of possibility within it. All right? So that's really, that's really awesome. And um, also with the emperor here, I feel like, uh, it'll it'll raise you up. You will feel stronger. You will feel like you are the controller of your your space. Because the Emperor and the King of Staffs really link to an Aries. So I feel like an Aries is going to be really, really strong in your life right now and really help you find connection to heart, love, to soul. How, however, you have to get over the situation, and you are on the up and up of this Five of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So this is saying that you are finally starting to feel yourself, you're starting to feel abundant again, and you're starting to come back out into the world and learn your lesson of how to walk your dreams. The world here is showing up, and it's linked to, the, you know, the Five of Pentacles, um, We'll get to the Knight of Cups in just a minute and the Ten of Staffs. Uh, but having that there is like, okay, yeah, I've done the work and I'm starting to I'm starting to see what I need to. I, I'm starting to see my path and what I need to do to get there. But the only way you're really going to get there is um, choosing. Choosing between all of the choices you have. And you've got a lot to choose from. And you got a lot in the air right now, Libra. 
and you can't carry it all forward. What do you want to keep and what are you going to let go? Wheel of Fortune here is like you you know what you need to, <laughs> to let go of and you know what you need to hold on to. All right, Wheel of Fortune is a, astute instinct. It's really being clear and it's also luck and it's happiness and joy. It's, it's let's spread what you have. Now, while you start to realize this and be like, okay, you know what? I really want to move forward with this person, with this project, and I got to let go of these three things. You'll start to feel lighter and you'll start to feel better and stronger and more focused on what you have ahead of you. As soon as that happens, though, that also, like when you have that focus, tests are going to come in and this Knight of Cups is coming in to test you. And it's a water sign, so it's going to be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And they're coming in to test um, your conviction. And I also feel like you're going to have to let go of some people, and you're going to probably have to let go of this Knight of Cups and this King of Swords up here. And they're both in the reverse, and so this one's, the, the Cups is going to manipulate you emotionally and be like, you don't love me. Why don't you care about me? You're going to move on without me, and what's going to happen to me? And it's going to make you feel guilty, but you're going to have to get over that, Libra. I'm sorry. You're going to have to get over that and be like, you know what? Your life, you've got to lead it. Same with mine. I, you know, I care about you, and I want to see you at your best, but right now you are at your worst. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to sink to that level either. Okay? So, Libra, I, I know you don't like co conflict. You don't like confrontation. But it's going to have to happen. I mean, we have the tower here. So if you don't confront what needs to be taken care of, this knight of, knight of cups, this person who's trying to bring you down, this king of swords, um who has already brought you down in October and is willing to run you over to get what they want. If you don't let those energies go, you know, your your world could come crumbling down. And you're just starting to get out of it. You know, you're just starting to get out of that, that haze. And it's like, you know, the tower is crumbling you down because we have the Eight of Cups. You still got some things to learn, sweet pea. You know, you still got some things to take care of. And it's good. It's good. They want you to learn more because they know that you're capable of being a stronger human, a better person. But I do like also that we have the lovers here and the emperor. You know, having those two next to each other is really sublime love and really strong with Aries. Really, really strong. And they're and I mean King of Staffs. Yeah, Lovers Lovers is actually a Gemini card, King of Staffs and the Emperor Aries cards. But you'll, you'll be able to communicate with this person. You'll be able to feel at home with them, which you haven't felt in a while, it feels like. But you're still going to have to let go of, of some situations to carry on. And as soon as you let go of those, people are going to come out of the word, woodwork and try to hold you down. Okay, so let's call on the Mother Wisdom deck to for some added guidance. Now, just to offer before I pull the card for um, from the Mother Wisdom deck, um, just for just to help you out with the situation too, is focus on the love. Focus on that you are coming into your own and on your strength, and that the wheel is in your favor. All right, that, and you have the world. I mean, these are all, like, everything that is happening is to get you to a very spiritually strong, satisfied place. And the reason why I said spiritually is because I feel like in your world, in your actual 3D world, things could be crumbling down. And what's going to hold you strong is your faith in yourself and in uh, the world around you. Like this Emperor card could be you too, Libra, that you have to now stand strong and stand in your stand stand on the podium and speak the truth of your life, which is can be very terrifying. 
But this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Cups in reverse, man, they're just trying to like bring you down. And so what you have to do, I mean, you have to choose to, to let them go. And this Knight of Cups and the Tower are linked together too. So, you know, this Knight of Towers could cause a lot of turmoil in your life. As soon as you, so be careful. Because they're unstable. They're really unstable. Like this Ten of Stabs is like, you know what? I'm, I gotta let you go. I gotta move on. I gotta start a new cycle. Sorry. You're gonna do just fine without me. And then they freak out and go, go all like carry carry on you. And you know, the, the tower happens. So please be very careful. If you get any signs that this person is, is working in a vindictive way, get away from them as fast as you can. And if they are doing anything that puts you or themselves or someone else in danger, then flip and call the cops. You know, get yourself safe, because that's my worry here. And my worry here is that they kind of lose it because you find love. You find love, and it's not through them. Okay, you and Virgo, you guys had some um, kind of dark <laughs> things for November. But life is up and down, you know? And it's like, it's dark, but it's so beautiful. I mean, we have the world, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like you're letting go of this person, finding love, and finding satisfaction in yourself. And it's just, it's like giving birth, you know? It's super painful, but at the end, you get a baby. Okay, river, surrender. Oh, that's perfect. I'm not even going to read about it, okay? Because it, it's just so clear. River, surrender. All right? This Libra, ten of staves up here. You cannot do it all, and you shouldn't. You have to focus. You have to clear and move forward what is truly important to you. As soon as you do that, people will be there to help you out, like the King of Stabs and a fire sign. But the only way that this is going to happen is if you surrender to what you need to do. And you surrender to your divine self. And you make the choices out of that situation. So that means when you get that little hum saying, you know what, that King of Cups, man, there's something wrong. I gotta let that go. Don't wait and say, mm, I'm gonna wait a couple months and see what happens. No, let go, let go, you know. And it's for, it's for the best, for you, for them, they're not working in their highest and they're not working in their highest and you could, not saying that you're causing it, but you are a, a role in it. So you have to, take yourself out so maybe they could heal themselves. All right, just to also recap a little bit, you know, always surrender, flow like the river. Go to the river, you know, pray at the river, put the put water on your face. But love-wise, I think you're going to have to break up with someone to find true love or to break up with a friend, break up with a family member even to find your love. And your love is is there. It's right there waiting for you. I feel like a lot of you guys by the end of November are going to be like, I am so in love. I feel really broken, but I am so in love and I'm so happy with that. And why I say broken is because of the tower. Things crumbled down and now you have to piece it back together. But it's worth it, isn't it? Man, Libra. You'll be saying that. It is worth it. Okay. Whew. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or go to my website. Remember, listen to your heart and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings. <laughs>